Hi, Jeremy here with 3D Universe. This is the Dremel LC40 laser cutter, and today we're going to be showing you some of the projects that we've done with this in the few months that we've had it. Now, we have a whole series of exciting videos planned out, including details about the hardware and software capabilities, resources that you can find online to help with projects, and then specific project examples. But for today, we're just going to give you a sampling of the kinds of things you can do. One of the first items that we did was the Eiffel Tower. It's such an impressive looking model when it's done, and it's actually a fairly easy project to get started with. It's designed for standard eighth inch uh, plywood. We used birch, and it's relatively easy in the sense that it doesn't involve a whole lot of parts to cut out, and the assembly is pretty straightforward. We got this from a site called obrary.com, which offers open source designs for laser cutting projects. It's a great resource, one that we'll include in a, another video later where we show you some of the various resources that you can use online to help you with your projects. This shadow box with a 3D landscape is one of my favorites. It's just a beautiful piece. This is a download from thingiverse.com. We'll include the links to all these projects below the video. This toy wooden train was another Thingiverse download. There's a huge number of laser cutter projects available on Thingiverse. If you just search on Thingiverse.com for the keyword laser cut, you'll find all sorts of things that you can use to get started. Now this locomotive wine box we made for a gift for someone, and this is an example of a model that wasn't a free download. We found this on Etsy, and it was, at the time, about $10. Now you can find lots of designs available on Etsy if you search for laser cut SVG and then the topic of your choice. And uh, we found a lot of nicer models there that you probably wouldn't be able to find for free. So if you're willing to spend a few bucks on uh, some of the nicer designs, that opens up a lot of other possibilities for you. This wine box is another design that comes from Etsy. This was a $7 purchase for the digital download at the time. It comes with several different designs for the front panel and they're easily customizable. So if you wanted this to say something other than wine, for example, somebody's initials or another name, you could do that easily with Adobe Illustrator or any other vector artwork program. This design features a flexible lid for the top opening, and it's a great example of the types of flexible cuts you can do when you're working with wood on a laser cutter. This decorative jewelry box is another item that we made as a gift for someone, and this is a free download from Thingiverse. This same designer has a number of wonderful designs on Thingiverse that are great projects for your laser cutter. Some of my favorite laser cutter projects have been these three-dimensional mandalas that you can produce by stacking multiple layers with slightly differentiated designs, as you can see here. This one consists of 11 layers that were cut out individually and then simply assembled with some wood glue. Here's another beautiful three-dimensional mandala-type wall hanging. Again, this is produced by cutting out separate layers and then assembling them using wood glue. We also found these nice mandala template designs on Etsy as a $7 download. We cut these out of hardwood called peduck, which gives it that beautiful reddish color. These coasters and the coaster holder were cut out of eighth inch walnut. The design for the coaster holder is available on Thingiverse as a free download. This wall clock was one of our first projects that involved moving parts or electronic components. It's actually a fairly easy project because it's a single layer cut out of eighth inch birch plywood and we purchased the movement as a kit from Amazon. This ruler is another download that we found on Thingiverse and we were actually really impressed with how well it came out when we cut it out of acrylic. The markings are nice and sharp, and clear, and we actually found that we're using this ruler a lot more than the other ones that we had lying around, which is why you see some scuff marks on it. We took a stab at several different types of ornaments. These are really nice when you cut them out of acrylic because of how clear and sharp the edges are. We made some snowflake ornaments, and we made a couple of these dragon ornaments for the Christmas tree. This 3D Universe logo template was done on a brushed silver acrylic sheet. The brushed silver is engraved away with a laser cutter, allowing the black acrylic underneath to show through. We engraved this design onto this granite coaster just as a test to see if it was possible to get a good engraving on granite, and it came out fairly nicely. This collar that we made for our dog Amy was the first project that we did in working with leather. Now, we're certainly not leatherworking experts, and so I'm sure there's a lot of things that we could do differently, but we were actually very pleased with how it came out for our first attempt. We started with a template that we found on Etsy, which was designed for a Greyhound collar because we wanted that wider part in the middle. And we customized it with Amy's name and a design that we placed on either side. 
You can also cut things like paper or poster board and other such materials. So you can do really fancy cards when it comes to holidays and gift giving time. I used a template that I found on Etsy to do this Valentine's Day card. On the inside, we etched a simple message. Now if you are looking to work with paper or poster board or similar materials on your laser cutter, one of my favorite sites is Monica's Creative Room. She has a huge collection of designs for free download, including many that are suitable for paper, poster board, and other thinner materials like that. I recently made one of these memory concentration game kits for my grandmother, who's suffering from a little bit of memory loss. Thought this might help. It's a nice little project that's easily customizable. If you wanted to, you could change the designs that were on each of the individual tiles. In my case, I left the tiles as they were, but I customized the design on the lid to replace the word memory with my grandma's name. There's so many other great projects available. On Etsy, we found some nice dollhouse designs that we look forward to doing. This one is a bit of a simpler design. Here we have another example of a dollhouse design. It looks like it would be a lot of fun. And here we have another dollhouse example. As you can see, these are all designed for cutting with eighth inch wood or plywood. Here's another design that caught my attention on Etsy. This is a wooden handbag. And because of the flexible cuts that are used, the main body of the bag is made with one continuous sheet of wood. Then you just need two other pieces for the side panels and a little wood glue to assemble it. So as you can see, there are lots of different types of projects you can do with a laser cutter like this. We're going to get into that more in future videos, but this certainly is a very versatile piece of equipment that would make a great addition to any makerspace, classroom, or workshop with a small business looking to produce custom products. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll see those other videos as we put them out. Thanks for watching.